Hi, I've read this one, Enter Ghost, the, um, on the Women's Poison Fiction long list. It's the first one from the long list that I've picked up since it was announced. I've already read Western Lane and um, Ordinary Human Failings previous. So uh, my videos for those are, are elsewhere on my channel. Um, so this is the first one that I've got from the library. They sent me a large print version. Why they sent me a large print version? I don't know. I thought it was quite funny when I picked it up and it was a large print version. But celebrate. This one, it looks at, you learn an awful lot in this book about the different nuances of Palestinian identity and the lives that uh, of those in um, the West Bank, those in Haifa, if I'm saying that right, and the constant navigating of checkpoints and getting permits to go backwards and forwards. Um, things I, I, I didn't, yeah, I've, I've gained a bit of knowledge from this. And Areta Sonia is a British Palestinian, father's Palestinian, mother's Dutch. And she's an actress in England and she's never really made it very big. She's had acting roles and stuff, but she's never made the the thing, the, the big star. She's now um, late 30s and has decided to have a break from acting and get away from a relationship that she's had with uh, a married director and um, take a break and go and sis visit her sister Hanine, who's in um, Haifa, who, where she teaches in the university. The relationship between the two sisters isn't easy. Um, there's love there, but they seem to find it difficult to open up to each other. And Sonia has gone over there as well, wanting to understand her relationship with Palestine. And she feels that her elder sister is holding something back. Staying with her sister, she gets to meet Mariam, who's aiming to put on Hamlet in the West Bank. And Sonia gets drawn into the group and she takes the part of Gertrude. And so you've got the play, which is all about the rehearsals for this, for, for putting Hamlet on, the other actors, um, you know, the dynamics and the, the performances. What I liked was the decision that the authors made to switch from Sonia's narrative to, can I flick and find it quickly? to play text. So you've got sort of Sonia as the the first person narrator and then it, it'll switch to a play script. So it's almost as though instead of seeing things through Sonia's eyes, you're taking a step back and you are watching her. And because you've got stage directions in these play script bits, you are watching how she interacts and others interact. It's, it's a different... It, it adds almost a different layer. Um, there's also a section in here as um, at the very beginning when she starts starts working with this um, play group, this little group of people. There's almost like a, a section like you get in a, a theatre programme where it lists all the different actors and the parts they're playing and a little bio about them. Um I like the way also that sometimes in the rehearsal they would do something that is later mirrored in events in the novel um, without giving too much away a checkpoint scene. You know, it's it's all there's something that's sort of almost been acted out before it happens in real life, or or vice versa. Yeah, so it's something like that. So I like like that, and it's interesting watching the dynamics as they switch and change between Sonia and all the other actors um, because you've got the 
the idea that somebody is watching them and they suspect everybody. Everybody is uh, who is who is reporting back. Um, the idea of using Sonia as Gertrude as well is an interesting choice because in the Hamlet play, Gertrude comes across as was she complicit in her husband's murder or was she naive and innocent? And you've got, you can almost translate that into Sonia. Um, not that it, it, was she complicit in the events in, in Palestine, but was she aware of what was going on? Or is she just naive and not understanding what goes on? If you, if you see what I mean, yes, yeah, she's someone who's almost closed her mind to events in Palestine. So has she sort of actually closed her mind to them? Or, uh, or is she fully aware? But do, do you see what I mean? I, I, I'm not explaining it very well, but I, th I think the idea of having Gertrude, who is a sort of slightly ambiguous character, and Sonia, who's not quite sure where she she lies, um, has she distanced herself, or is she really naive? Um, I, I haven't quite worked my way through that one yet. The negative for me was that I didn't really warm to Sonia and the constant references to her love life, I, I just felt were irrelevant, really. But I loved the use of Hamlet because it's a play that really seems to work in this situation. I mean, I saw it performed uh, at the RSC once and it was just this almost claustrophobic setting where everybody was under surveillance and you've got you get the idea that that is happening here in the in this time that the book is set in that the actors are being totally under surveillance you know, everybody is watching everything else and it's a book that gives you an insight into the rights and freedoms of the people, um, that they, they have to navigate their own rights and freedoms. I thought it was a really impressive novel. Um, I didn't really want it, Sonia, but you know, that, that doesn't really matter because she is, you, I, it's the rest of it, if that makes sense. So you, it, the fact that I didn't warm to her didn't spoil the enjoyment of the novel. I think, I, you know what I mean, I'm rambling. I always ramble. So that is the number one that I've got on the, um, okay, say number three, the third one that I've read on the Women's Prize for Fiction. I'm listening on Audible at the moment to Soldier Sailor. And um, hopefully um, I will be, I'll get another email from the library saying, I've got another book waiting for me. And when I do, I will let you know. So happy reading. Take care.